for protection, my father bought me a dog. All right. He was a wonderful dog. One night while I was being held up, he watched. He was a watchdog. <laughs> Everybody who has a dog calls him either Rover or Boy. I call mine Sex. <laughs> Now, Sex is a very embarrassing name. One day I took Sex for a walk, and he ran away from me. I spent hours looking for the dog. <laughs> Oh, so you a cop you. came over to me and said, what are you doing in this alley at four o'clock in the morning? I said, I'm looking for sex. <laughs> My case comes up Friday. One day I went to City Hall to get a dog license and told the clerk I'd like to have a license for sex. <laughs> he, he said, I'd like to have one too. <laughs> Then I said, but this is the dog. And he said he didn't care how she looked. <laughs> Then I said, you don't, you don't understand. I had sex since I was two years old. <laughs> I told him that when my wife and I separated, we went to court to fight for custody of the dog. I said, Your Honor, I had sex before I was married. And the judge said, Me too. <laughs> Then I told him that after I was married, sex left me. And he said, Me too. <laughs> When I told him I had sex on TV, he said, show off. <laughs> I told him that it was a contest, and he told me I should have sold tickets. <laughs> I also told the judge about the time when my wife and I were on our honeymoon. When I checked into the motel, I told the clerk that I wanted a room for my wife and a special room for sex. <laughs> the clerk said that every room in the motel was for sex. <laughs> Then I said, you don't understand. Sex keeps me awake at night. And the clerk said, me too. <laughs> I give up.